I begin, I'd like to give thanks to Deborah O'Willow. That is walking over apparently not paying attention. And <laughs> on behalf of Washington State, Deaf Senior Citizens, I'd like to thank Deborah O'Willow for her inspiration to come to the town hall meetings to be deaf and to help everyone in every arena of the state of Washington, every area. It's just such a wonderful program for us now that we can partner and all work together with each other. And many others are thrilled to have, your, have her here. So thank yes. you, Deborah. Thank you. Now, speaking on my part, on behalf of the Washington State Deaf Senior Citizens, and my committee is Karen Atwood, she's Vice President, Ellen Schreiber is my other half, Shepich, Shepich. Yeah. and um, the chairperson of the, uh, the ad hoc committee. And now we're pleased to be part of this, the CFD, the Combined Fund Drive. Our organization is very new. We just established and developed ourselves in 2014. After, after years and years and years of, let me say, let me make, make the long story short, that we need, to, we need to have one set up in the state of Washington. We became 32nd in the state to be part of the Deaf Senior Citizens of America, that affiliation organization. And now it's in 50 states, and we're developed ourselves right in the middle. But our program's goal is missions, and our mission is to give advocacy and support to deaf senior citizens, education, and also to provide uh, psychological, physical, economical, uh, social welfare, and the well-being. And the most common interest of what our needs are these. Most of all, our Washington State Deaf Senior Citizens deserve to have the best possible communication access to all services. To all services that provide services to deaf and hard of hearing in the state of Washington. You know, let me take a, just a few moments and think for yourselves. As you're sitting out here in the audience and you can kind of contemplate and can you imagine that you're really close to retirement years? What, what, what are you going to do? What are your plans? What do you envision? Let's see, hmm, what am I gonna do when I retire? Maybe I'll travel the world, or I'll just kind of visit America itself, the United States. Maybe I'll buy a retirement home community and just live there. If your health deteriorates, you have options to get into maybe nursing care, residential care programs uh, with assisted or independent living. Do you have communication problems? No, you don't. You can speak. You can speak your mind and communicate easily and comfortably amongst your peers in, the, in any program you go to. You can share your stories. You can laugh, have laughter. Now think for just a moment, step out of that suit that you're in and envision if you were deaf, fully deaf. Let's imagine, think about this. Would you know, do people know how to sign? Do you guys know how to sign out in the audience? Maybe there might be one, two, a little bit. But think about what would it feel like? What would it be to be in a place where no one can sign to, uh, to, to, to help you with what you need. The purposes of you have is to have a deaf community, maybe a retirement friendly, accessible, with communication access, the staff can sign to help support. That's such a key part of our deaf senior citizens. We need a place. We need a place down the road mm -hmm. where Amy came and met, I met with her over there in Bellingham and really made me aware and wake up to what our dream is 
is, and it's all brick by brick. We want this campus as a retirement community center. But she sh showed me the reality. Check. I accept this. I accept the reality. But the bottom line is I'm still thinking with your donations and your contributions to our organization, we can plant a happy seed in our community with the deaf senior citizens that need communication. Maybe we can develop the concept and ideas of senior deaf senior citizens, have a mentoring program to talk with those deaf people that who are in isolation, that are all alone in places all around the state. So, you know, someday we can fill out all the data, we can have all the facts, all the stories, and we can bring all these things together and work with the state, if possible, to set up a wing. Set up this wing where we can place these deaf people who are in need, in need of help, communication, accessibility, inclusiveness with communication. We don't want to leave them out and have to wait for an interpreter. Oh, I'm sorry, you're gonna to have to try to write the best you can and write notes. Oh, come on. That's our dream. And we want to have a happy place that all could enjoy the sunsetting years as you retire and you want to do down the road. Again, Yay. on behalf, I want to thank all of you for choosing us to be your funded donations to the program to really start this and get it going. We have 170 plus members now and we're growing every day. We won. We won the bid to take over the deaf senior citizens of America that are coming to Seattle. And they're going to be coming in 2019 in the fall, in September of 2019. And that is going to give exposure to all of our deaf people, you know, under 40, over 50 age, to come. And they can learn. They can learn about the services that might be there for them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you.